Yo, what is up guys? It is Josh back with another video. In today's video, I'm actually going to be going over everything for Fortnite montages in terms of impact. So I'm going to be covering this in both After Effects and DaVinci Resolve. But quickly before I actually get into it, I just want to say that over 60% of you guys that watch my videos are not actually subscribed to the channel yet. So make sure to drop us up as 100% free for you guys to do and you can change your mind at a later date. But with that being said, all the downloads and timestamps will be in the description. Hope you guys do enjoy and I'll see you guys inside of DaVinci Resolve. All right, guys. So right here, we're inside of DaVinci Resolve. All we're going to do is just uh, make a new thing called, I, I guess, like Impacts Tutorial. So we're just going to press Create. Just go to your settings once we've actually gone up. File, Project Settings, change this to 60 FPS. We should be good. Save, Edit Tab. And uh, just for this, what we're actually going to do is I'm going to break down these little mini building blocks of actually how you can make your own impacts. We're going to drag in the song Ronaldo. I used it in my last tutorial too. Um, but it's all good. We're just gonna add, um, and we'll just do like, something like that. We're only gonna do one impact, and I'll just show you how to do it on both. Uh, all we gotta do, just find like a random clip, I guess. Boo, 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 boo. Let's just do this one, preview it right up here, and we're just going to kind of size it down on either side, like that. Then we'll also find where we get the kill. Press M. Drag it in, drag this down, audio track. And then we're just gonna line up the two markers. Look at that. Drag it out, drag it out. Perfect. And then for uh, velocity, we're just gonna unlink the clips, go to read time curve, changes from read time frame to uh, read time speed. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven frames back. Add a keyframe, jack this up to 300%. One, two, three frames to the right. Add a keyframe. We're just going to actually drag this up now to 150 percent drag this down to 60 like that and then click on all these ease them just like this ease this one just like that and then we're just going to realign this up with the actual kill drag this down drag this down right click and then we're just going to collapse the retime curve and that should be good should be good uh, all we gotta do now is just add our actual impacts which is why you guys are actually here today um, so I'm just gonna move this up we're gonna add a adjustment clip that starts from the kill goes to the very end of the clip just like this go into our fusion tab and we're just going to find the folder where I have my presets and I'll quickly just show you right here uh, we're just going to I'm gonna show you kind of the basics so if we were just doing kind of a vibey type of highlights video, not too crazy of a song, all we would do is just drag in like our tilt shake preset, let's say. And I'll quickly just show you what that looks like. I'll drag that in. And that is just like a tilt shake you can see with like some movement just like that. Just gives it a bit of movement. 100% up to you guys what you want to do, but I'll just quickly show you also what it looks like with a Y shake. So if we were using a song with insanely like hard beats, we would do something like a Y shake as well. So I'll quickly show you what, what kind of vibe that actually adds. So obviously off the start, it would add like a nice little impact, kind of where it does a nice little Y shake. But I would put that on kind of the main beats of the song. If you want to just put your like tilt shake on the all the other beats, that's up to you. And then uh, from there, these are just two of the main presets that you can kind of interchange depending on the beat. But from there, we're just going to look up flicker, S underscore flicker, press add, press shift and drag it in just to connect it like that. And obviously you'll need the Sapphire plugins for this. And uh, for kind of my like chill impacts i do something like a 0.25 amplitude flicker keyframe at the beginning go to the end and i keyframe it down to zero just kind of like that but if i am doing something like more intense i kind of bring it up to 0.42 so just like that and it just depends on the vibe of the highlights video like i said that kind of affects everything and another cool thing that you can add if you want is a bcc fast lens blur let me see fast lens blur just at the very bottom we're gonna press add let it load give it a second we're just gonna drag that one in and then we're gonna have to collapse all these op options right here on the right side just like this make sure we're always saving our project bring all these down right here and we should be good now so once we can see the iris skill just change it to nine and then you're gonna change your gamma to i don't know like 500 and then also uh, change your quality to sharper. And we're going to keep from the iris scale at the beginning. 
at nine, go like 30 frames in, keyframe it down at zero, and that should be good. And then if it was more of a hard impact instead of the chill, I would just get rid of the fast lens blur. And you're gonna wanna do something like a distort RGB. So something like that, drag that in. And you change it from one to 0 0.05, should be fine, or even like a 0 0.1 is good. Uh, keyframe like there and then, or sorry, we're like halfway through. I don't even know what I'm doing. Just like that, and then go to the very end, like keyframe net zero, just like that. Just like that. But that's pretty much kind of just like basic impacts for your Fortnite montages. Obviously, this kind of is a bit of a short tutorial, but I'm just kind of explaining, depending on the beats, what you could actually implement into these impacts. If you wanted to do, I don't know, like a glow, you could even, like a, you want to do like an S underscore glow. Do something like this, drag it in, increase the brightness, decrease the threshold, and then change the glow width to something a bit wider. Change it to like a nice little pink. And then you could even like keyframe that there, bring it down, go to zero. Just like that. Or even if you wanted to, I don't know, like let's say for your tilt shake, you wanted to make it like an RGB shake, you could get rid of your glow. Go to your shake, go down to the channels, change your red amplitude to even two. What that'll do is it'll have like a bit of an RGB se separation for your actual shake. And uh, that's pretty much how you do that. If you also wanted something I always do for my impacts, which makes it like really nice looking. So you do BCC brightness contrast, drag that in. You just bring down all these options right here. And then we change the brightness at the very beginning to like uh, maybe... 15 should be good or 14 for the very end bring it back down to uh, zero and that just gives it a nice little vibe type thing and that is pretty much how you actually do that but like you can see that's like the probably the cleanest impact you've ever seen <laughs> but uh yeah that's pretty much that i'll have uh, the presets the main presets like the shakes in the description then you could just mess around with the bcc brightness the uh, flickers all that stuff but we're gonna be moving on to after effects now so i will actually see you guys inside of there all right guys so i am inside of after effects now all we're gonna want to do is we're just going to uh find the song that we want to use so i'm just gonna do ronaldo again we're going to drag it in just like this. Give it a second to load. And then we're going to kind of find the main beat. Right here. So we're just going to actually press N on our keyboard to actually add a marker if you want. Uh, you don't have a keybind set up. You're just going to want to actually go up here to uh, layer, marker, and then just add a marker to there. Uh, I'm going to actually do this. And then we're just going to cut off the rest of the song, obviously, because we aren't going to be using the rest of it so just like that should be good and then we're just going to drag in a random clip so for me i'm going to use kind of the opener clip from this highlights video i'm just going to give it a second to load just like that we're going to drag it in we're going to give it a second we're going to find the actual part that we're going to use of it straight about here should be good just like that and then we're just going to do that just like that and it should be good perfectly good then we're going to go up here to animation apply animation presets and we're actually just going to do our highlights velocity just like that we're just going to line up the second keyframe with the kill i'll have that in the description if you guys want and right here we're just going to add a adjustment layer by pressing Control y press Control shift d to actually cut off either side and what we're going to do is we're just going to uh, add our shakes so if it is a chill type of impact you're just going to do something like i don't even know like a like a tilt shake but if it is like a harder beats you're gonna kind of try to implement a y shake so for this we're just gonna go and i'm just gonna add kind of one of my main impacts so let's do something like this if we go up here to ae presets we go to presets impacts we'll do the bare bones impact because that's like one of the best ones kind of just has all the basic stuff there's a y shake in there tilt shake um but if this is like a kind of chill one we'd get rid of the y shake and the y shake is this one right here i think yeah so we just have tilt shake obviously you can see it isn't as like intensive a beat so it kind of works but if it was like a crazy intense beat 
we would have to uh let me just quickly add the y shake back we'd add the y shake back you can see it makes a massive difference in terms of like the vibe of the montage if that makes sense and then right here let me quickly uh, i'll show you how to make the flicker we're just gonna add a flicker just like this and if it was kind of like a chill one we would change the amplitude to 0.25 keyframe at the beginning and then we go to the end keyframe it at zero but if it was more of like an intense one i'd probably bring it up to like a 0.42 to a 0.45 just like that and then also what we can do is change it to bcc brightness contrast just like that change the uh, brightness at the beginning to 15 go to the very end keyframe it at zero what that'll do it's kind of like a mini glow but it just enhances the brightness of the entire thing makes it look super clean and then if you also want to you can change and add like a distort rgb it's up to you though and just like that we're just going to uh change the amount to 0 0.05 keyframe it go to the very end keyframe it at zero and that's kind of like a nice little hard impact right there if you wanted to uh do like a, more of a chill type vibe impact you could do just get rid of the disorder rgb a fast lens blur just like that change the iris scale to nine change it to a sharper quality just like this change your gamma to like 500 and then we're just going to key from the iris scale at the beginning at nine go to the very end or like 30 frames in it's like something around here change it to zero and uh, this would be kind of like our vibe type um, impact just like that but that's pretty much how you do that you just be saving it constantly but it is 100% up to you um, what kind of impact you want to do obviously the presets will be in the description kind of has building blocks off the bare bones one down there uh, which is like kind of just a starting point for your impacts and then you could add whatever you want to it obviously you could add like an s glow if you wanted to uh, change it up 100% up to you though if you guys uh, do want to show some love down below feel free to do that hope you guys did enjoy this little mini tutorial sorry it was a bit short but i just kind of wanted to break down impacts for you guys because i saw a lot of you guys kind of weren't utilizing impacts as much in your fortnite montages you were either leaving them out or you kind of weren't doing them right and you had like a crazy shake on your montage but hope you guys did enjoy though like comment subscribe and i will see you guys in a future upload on the channel i'll see you guys later peace out